We're here to appreciate our favorite art form. Makeup is all we got, so. <laughs> Hello everyone! This is Kimchi here. Hi, this is Naomi Smalls. And we are your Makeup, Makeup Girls. Girls. We're going to be looking at RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars Season 2. Basically, we're going to look at their mug from when they walked in a nobody to the All Stars they are now. Now that they can afford luxurious products. Can they? I hope so. When you see yourself on TV, it totally changes what you think of how you look. It's true. What do you think of seeing your makeup on TV for the first time? I said I look flawless. It must be nice to think you look flawless, because I definitely did not. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you evolve so quickly with it, so even like watching back all the old episodes, I'm like, oh my god, everything was so just not cute to look at. Before Naomi used to put three stones under her eyes, now she puts on four. <laughs> it's still not cute, right? <laughs> is it cute to look at? <laughs> First up is Tasha Salas. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Roxy, damn. Oh my gosh, she's improved so much. I feel like every season there's always two or three queens that influence the makeup world. Season seven, Trixie first came on and then you saw so many Trixies all across the world. And I feel like season five, Roxy was the queen who's mug. She's inspired so many different queens from across the country. Her signature was really defined brow highlight. She would never highlight underneath her cheekbones and then always like a really pale nude lip. And just like stacked, stacked, thick Huge ass. Huge lashes. Black spider lashes. It looks like Roxy really knows her colors better now. Her highlight's actually like popping. She still has the high brow and the black lashes, but she just looks like she knows her colors better now. It's true. And that's like half the battle. Her lips are much more defined. And also I think her losing her weight really gives her jaw shape much more. Up next we have Alyssa Edwards. Beast. She almost looks really masculine and almost older than how she looks now. Her nose contour is much wider. Now, I don't really see her using that much blush. I see this look done a lot by like pageant queens. I feel like whenever queens do the blush where like it goes up like this, it just makes you look older. Alyssa has one of my favorite faces. Her head is so small and she can look so like fishy and dramatic at the same time. And she knows how to start her face. Always and forever. She knows which way she's going. <laughs> her brow has definitely been raised higher. Her brows are much more defined. And also her eyes are a little bit more opened up because if you put like a shimmer in the corners of your eye. It just opens up your eyes and so much brighter. And before her makeup used to be a lot of deep smoke, just simple liner with lashes. Cause she already has the natural beauty, so she doesn't need too much. And it looks like she really ditched the blush. This looks like more natural, more browns instead of random pink color. Alyssa, you went from mug to <sighs> mug. The Lady Dorito Coco Montrees. Oh my gosh, it looks like the only color she really used in season five was like yellow, orange, and raspberry. There genuinely isn't that many colors available to darker skin girls. As Bob, it's hard. There would be like 30 different shades of light skin tone, and then there would be two skin tones for black girls. Right. Let me just look at Naomi, it's brown and yellow. <laughs> Oh, that's another thing on the show. I was so yellow. You were the banana like, powder girl. I was the banana powder bitch. Every season's got their banana powder girl, and unfortunately, I was that bitch. Girl, look at how orange you look. Meta. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even see her face. <laughs> I mean, she came in like this with a hat that went like this. But at least her cheekbones look great. It definitely looks like Coco is using a lot more neutrals in her makeup, a lot more natural, more flattering than the yellow that she was using. A lot of baby black drag queens always gravitate towards it. I was a baby black drag queen until Kim helped me out. I was like, bitch, look at how yellow you fucking look. <laughs> the best makeup you've ever done to this day. Wow. Thank you so much. It's like most embarrassing time of my life to this day. Don't worry, there's screenshots. <laughs> oh look, there's one right now. So up next is Alaska when she entered season five. Came in with a mask on and she never took it off. Structure, mm -hmm. so much geometric shapes happening here. Giving Sarah um, Jessica Parker realness. Like this, is it prosthetics? I would never know. <laughs> Almost looks like Naomi on a really good day. <laughs> I thought you were gonna show a picture Wait. of when she took the mask. Oh, I was like, she doesn't look like this anymore. No, it's not. Oh, okay, got it. This makeup is really simple. There's literally like three colors on her face. Well, she has such like a, a, like a narrow, like structured face that she doesn't really need contour so much. Her signature is like the really skinny high brows. And that's really all she needs. She's definitely one of those ones that have improved so, 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 much. so much. There is a darker contour. The highlight is much more prominent. Her lip has changed, whether it's through surgery or if it's through <laughs> overdrawing. That's my favorite part of All Stars, just seeing all that lip injection. <laughs> <laughs> what you can afford, respect the pump. And her brows are much more thicker now, and they're much more shaped, and there's like an ombre. It still looks simple, but it's very Alaska's own. Alaska's done such an amazing job at just branding herself. Like, when you see the 
this hair, you know ex exactly who it is. She's got it down to a science now. It's true. If you want to achieve an Alaska look, high, high arched brows with a smoky eye. And a vocal fry. It's like your normal voice. Yeah, I'm, I am definitely, <laughs> I am definitely a victim of vocal fry as well. <laughs> Up, girl. So here's Adore when she first walked into the season six entrance. And this is actually the Adore that like I grew up with. Name dropper. <laughs> <laughs> we used to perform and go to the same clubs. So her makeup is so much more severe here. Adore's always had their really, really dark brow, like jet black, really, really dark eyeliner all around the eye. Adore's one of those bitches that just has a really pretty face and she has, can just like paint on her natural features and she looks amazing. Stunning, yeah. yeah. This is definitely more on like in the beauty makeup side. She still has her signature dark brow and she still has like a dark smoky all around, but it's less exaggerated. And this is more like what real girls would do on her night out. She's like definitely blended now into like the Instagram drag. Yeah. Like taking the trends that are on Instagram and applying it to your drag makeup. The strobing and really, really, really sharp edged out brows. If I was gonna try and resemble a door, I would go and do like dark, dark eyes, dark, dark brows. And that's really all you need. Warm undertone and get really, really, really big lips. Like this big. So like hot dog bun big. <laughs> Fifi here has what I call a fruit basket contour. So she's got like grape, raspberry, and orange, and banana, like all going at the same time in her face. She looks really old here. Yeah, she does look a lot older. Since Drag Race, she's completely dropped the whole pageant thing, and now she's doing more artsy drag. All the cosplay. All the intricate club kit looks. Yeah. Prosthetics. She can do it all now. If you go on her Instagram, it's here 365 days of drag. So many varieties. Fuck. So many. And she's gotten much more refined now. Yeah, I want to see her makeup collection. This makeup here in particular is really simple. It's still a better representation of what Fifi does now. And she looks a lot younger here than she did on season four. I think that there's something about ditching that, like that fruit basket contour. I think it's that raspberries partic particularly. That just like, makes all you these, look like an old school queen. Yeah, all these pageant girls have like that purpley contour. When they get get rid of it, it just like brightens their face up so much. Well, it's like, can I take my earrings off? It's like hurting. Yeah, go ahead. Obviously, you guys can see that Kim is taking this job very, very, very seriously. Right, Kim? She was edited out. My favorite quote is Bianca Del Rio when she goes, no one's face is too pretty to not wear an earring. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> she looks like a completely different person. So here we have Katya Zamalochkova. Oh, I'm so impressed that you know the full name. That's it, right? I can barely remember her first name. She looks like a woman here. She really does. Like, not a great looking woman, but <laughs> definitely a woman. Like, she looks like her name should be like Ingrid. Wow, her features just look so much smaller. The lashes are tiny, the eyeliner is almost non-existent, the nose contour is wider, the cheekbones much more prominent, the jawline looks bigger. Yeah. How does that work? I don't know. And let's take a look at Katya and her walk-in on All Stars 2. <gasps> <laughs> she came to fight. Like, if you got in a fight, you want to be on her side. Katya's, like, signature, because, like, she has such beautiful eyes, is the blackest black, 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 black eye. She always has a red lip. She oh, rarely changes it. This is not a read, but I feel like she looks less like a woman. She looks more draggy. Overall. Yeah. And she can do her makeup really, really, really fast. Really fast. Yeah, we've done shows where she gets ready in like 10 minutes and she's like good to go. Well, Katya's been in business longer than you've had your pubic hair. Who the fuck says I still have pubic hair? <laughs> <laughs> if you want to achieve the Katya look, say something random like. Should we do bop, bop, bop? <laughs> you said it best. Katya's humor is very similar to iCarly. Yeah, it's just random. Ginger Minj and her walk-in on season seven. Ginger's one of those queens, like her makeup doesn't ever really change. Ginger's been doing drag for ages. At this point, Ginger already knows exactly what works for her and she knows exactly what she can get done in like a certain amount of time. Yeah, Ginger doesn't really need to improve. She already is there. I think she, maybe now she's cut out the black hairspray contour, forehead contour, which I have never really understood. You see like a lot of like girls with like a black hair line yeah. and then they're wearing like a blonde wig. Like your entrance look. No, that's a wig. <laughs> I'm talking Are about you like sure? this before. Yeah, fuck off. Here in her entrance to All Stars 2, she looks exactly the same. Yeah. She totally looks exactly the same. One thing I'll give Ginger is she's always consistent. You know exactly which mug you're going to expect from her and she gives it to you every time. She looks like she hopped on the metallic brow bandwagon though. That's that trend was like three years ago, girlfriend. Miss Queen Bee and Crown It, Detox from season five. 
kidding. Her makeup here is really smoky and it looks less glossy and dewy than how it looks now. Detox makeup has always been pretty refined. Detox comes from LA and you can, I feel like you can spot an LA, LA face queen. like a mile away. At least now because Raven has been such a huge makeup inspiration. I see like a lot of like beige cut creases and just nude lips <laughs> and um, like severe brows. She definitely uses a lot less harsh colors. Her makeup has gotten much lighter. Everything is still cut and prominent, but just overall tone is cooler and lighter. I feel like Detox always matches her makeup to go with her look. It always looks very head to toe finished. If I wanted to achieve the Detox look, I would get a prosthetic nose. <laughs> <laughs> and some Mugler, but who <laughs> can afford that? And if you can afford it, get some Mugler. And last but least, Tatiana. It's not last, is it? Who, in my opinion, is the biggest RuPaul's Drag Race transformation of all time. All time. With Tatiana, I see like mall drag. That's like the best two words to really use for it, I feel it like. It takes one to no one, right? Yeah, it takes one to no one. But she literally just looks like a 17 year old girl. Like her parents like just let her start wearing makeup and she's going to the club. She looks like she works at Urban Outfitters. <laughs> I would say like wet seal. Wet seal, yeah. <laughs> also like season two was like a different time back then, right? Yeah. We're so lucky, like as young drag queens, we've had YouTube tutorials. We came around. in a world where there's like a full of resource. Right. And back then, they just kind of had to really like make it work with what they had. Hence, all the flat wigs in season two. <laughs> right, Naomi? And season eight. And here's to Tatiana now. Ugh, so good. She's so good, yeah. So good. Tatiana's doing drag now. <laughs> So, um, she has a brow, she's carving out her face, she's exaggerating what needs to be exaggerated, and like she's just really playing up with her face shape. She looks gorgeous. All the colors are so perfect. Her brows are perfection. There's so much detail with like each yeah. individual strand. I mean, she has a lot of downtime to be practicing like, <laughs> in between. <laughs> what is it, like six years, five yeah. years? You don't even have pubic hair then. <laughs> what is this pubic hair obsession? I mean, <laughs> she looks less fishy than she did in season two, but she looks more beautiful and more draggy here. It's weird because I think when you think you want to look fishy, it's like you wear like no makeup. But honestly, you look more like a woman when you wear more, more makeup. makeup. It's true, to disguise the man. Yeah, cover girl, don't cover boy. But in some case, you can still wear a lot of makeup and still look like a man. Case in point. She's pointing to herself, right? Okay, perfect. <laughs> and now it's time for fan submission. Where we're gonna talk about your mug. Over here, we have Emily Meow from England. We can tell that there's a lot of shimmer in her makeup, all up in her cheekbones to give that natural glow, and then a little silver shimmer under her eyebrows as well. If I wanted to achieve Emily's look, I would head to the craft store and I would head to go get some spirit gum and some pointed tweezers and start gluing shit to my face. I feel like she's definitely in the generation of like Instagram beauties. There's like two types of like Instagram girls. The girls who look like unicorn just pooped them out. <laughs> and then there's the girls who look brown and wet. Like uh, Kardashian wannabes. Yeah. That's kind of like us. You're a unicorn poop. And you're brown and wet. And I'm brown and wet. Thank you, Emily Meow. I hope you win. <laughs> if, if you would like, like to be, be featured, featured on, on Tweet your best makeup photo to at World of Wonder. Hashtag mug. <sighs> Hashtag mug. <laughs> And don't forget to subscribe to Wow Presents. <laughs> ba -da -da -da.